Brides and grooms, in this video, you're going to learn how to dance perfectly to Ed Sheeran's Perfect. But instead of showing you a complex routine that you have to copy, memorize, and stress about, we're going to break down the song for you so that you know exactly what you need to do in the intro, outro, the length of song that's most ideal, and some of the phrase changes within the song. The goal for us today is to make sure that you're confident and looking forward to dancing at your wedding. The game plan that we're about to outline for you is what we do with all of our wedding couples. That's right. We've been doing this for over 15 years in our dance company with super success. And often when they come in, they feel overwhelmed with the whole wedding planning process. But by the time they leave, they feel that the dancing was one of the most fun, most enjoyable parts of it. So without further ado, let's get ourselves started and make your preparation for your dance stress-free and a little bit of fun. So let's start at the very beginning. That's right. It's a very good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joel. <laughs> the introduction. In Ed Sheeran's Perfect, the introduction is very tiny. That's right. Usually songs have a long introduction, usually instrumental, and then the singer starts to sing. Whereas Ed Sheeran has a bloom, and then he already starts to sing right away. Just seconds later. Yeah. So there isn't much lead in time. And normally we like to start dancing when the lyrics start. Yeah. But in this case, it's not possible. So what we're going to suggest for you is to actually start halfway through the first verse. And that'll be the perfect place to start. So Clara, what then do brides and grooms do before they start dancing? Well, we tell all our couples to start off the floor. Mm -hmm. There's nothing worse than standing awkwardly, looking in the face of your partner, <laughs> waiting for the DJ to That's fumble right. the music. We, we've actually gone over that very specific awkwardness in our YouTube fails video, and there'll be a link in the description below to watch that. So definitely check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are waiting patiently off the dance floor and for the song to begin. There's the introduction. And now we walk on nice and confidently and slowly using the first half of the verse. Claire goes all the way around and I take her into my arms. Here's the second half. I found a girl. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Starting with I found a girl. Now that we know what to do for our introduction, let's talk about the full entire song. And it is a big, wonderful song, but it is over four minutes and 20 seconds, which is a long time to dance to. Yeah, it's a bit long. We normally suggest three minutes, a little over three maybe, um, for a typical wedding dance. That's right. So let's break this down into its nine different parts. Ed Sheeran's Perfect has an introduction, short one. It's got its verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, Another verse, pre-chorus, and another chorus. Then we have a musical bridge followed by a final chorus. There's nine parts to that, and there's a bit of repetition. Yeah, so as you can see with the repetition at the bottom, you've got the chorus twice at the end with a bridge in between. We can just take out one of those choruses and the bridge. That's right. So if by any chance you're not working with a professional DJ or don't have the technical know-how to actually splice the music for yourself, the perfect time, perfect time, <laughs> To fade out would be around 3 minutes and 10 seconds, 3 minutes, 13 seconds, which is at the end of the second chorus. It ends the song very naturally, so it's the simple way to go. If by any chance you do work with a DJ or have the technical know-how how to splice the music, a great thing to do would be to take out the second chorus and the musical bridge and just chop it out, cut it out, and go straight into the last chorus. What that does is it preserves the very, very ending where the music actually tails off and fades into a nice, peaceful finish. So with either of these options, we need to know exactly what we're going to do for the ending and when we're going to do it. That's right. Well, the answer is do a dip. We will have everybody do a dip at the end. It's a wonderful way to finish off the dance. Definitely. Yeah. And not only do a dip, but do it on time as well. Not too early, not too late, just right. We're going to show you how. So for the first option, the fade out at 313, we are going to time our ending, the dip, with the last lyric that Ed sings, which is in the song, Tonight. The way that I want to lead Clara into that dip is by a simple underarm turn. So I'm looking for a cue, and that cue is deserve when I'm now dancing with Clara, all right? So let's go ahead and start dancing, and I'm looking for that cue. There's the lyric, 
Out we go. Underarm turn. And into the day. Right on today. <laughs> Perfect. So here's option two, the spliced version where we preserve the ending. The ending actually doesn't have any lyrics anymore and it's just instruments tailing off. Yeah. My cue to get things started is actually the word tonight. So here we go. There's tonight and out she goes. Do the same underarm turn and then into the dip as the music fades out. Now that you've seen Joel and Clara dance both of those endings, tell us in the comments section below which one you like better. The fade or the spliced version? Now that you know what you're doing for the intro, the ending, as well as gotten the ideal length of song, you've covered all the basics. But if you want to be able to level your dancing up just a little bit without having to memorize stressful choreography, which we always don't suggest, this is a, a strategy that can allow you to follow the shape of the song just a little bit more and get a little bit more in the groove. Going back to the structure of the song, you can see that again, there are nine parts to the song. And whenever that new part starts, say for instance, from the verse to the pre-chorus, it would be ideal if you can now put in one of your special moves at that point in the song. That way, as the music is changing, you are also changing and you can follow the strategy throughout the rest of the song until you get to the natural conclusion. Here's an example of a transition between verse one and the pre-chorus. Now those transitions are wonderful little opportunities for us to change from our home base action into something a little bit different. In this case, I'm going to lead Clara into a passing underarm turn. And to match it perfectly with the music, we've heard this song so many times and we know that the cue for the start of the new phrase is the word fell. So let's see what that will look like. So here we're dancing our home base action, listening for those lyrics. Oh, and here it comes. There's Val. And there's a passing turn. And another one. For our second example of a transition, we're going from the pre-chorus to the chorus. And again, because we know the music so well, we know that the chorus starts with the word I'm. Let's see what that looks like with the music. So we're listening for the words. Oh, and there it is. And there's I'm. And we're gonna do the same underarm turns. So because the music is changing into the chorus, our movement also changes. Our third example is another verse two to the pre-chorus. We're looking for the word so. And that's the big word that's gonna get us to do again our separation with the underarm turn passing actions. So here's our home base action. We're still looking for that. Where is that? There, there it is. We're gonna do something different. Highlight that new phrase. Do you want more tips on how to enjoy your wedding dance together? Well, check out our free guide in which we outline a specific game plan on how to best master your wedding dance. And if you're looking for direct help from Joel and Clara, there's going to be a link down below how you can talk directly to us to get help right away. And if you haven't subscribed yet, press that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below. There are more videos for you to watch if you want more help with tips and tricks on how to make your wedding dance even better. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.